Hey everyone, welcome back to our tech series. Today, we're diving into two incredible tools that data scientists and developers love, Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab. We'll explore what they are, their key differences, and help you decide which one might be best for your projects. Let's get started. First up, Jupyter Notebook. If you've worked with data science or machine learning, you've probably heard of it. But what exactly is Jupyter Notebook? Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. It's a fantastic tool for data cleaning, transformation, numerical simulation, statistical modeling, and machine learning. To use Jupyter Notebook, you'll need to install it on your local machine. You can do this using Anaconda or PIP. Once installed, you can run Jupyter Notebook from your terminal or Anaconda Navigator. It opens in your web browser and provides an interactive environment for coding, visualizing data, and documenting your workflow. Now let's talk about Google Colab. Google Colab, or Collaboratory, is a free cloud service from Google that allows you to write and execute Python code in your browser. Colab is similar to Jupyter Notebook but with a major advantage. It runs in the cloud. This means you don't need to install anything on your local machine, and you can leverage powerful GPUs and TPUs for your computations. To get started with Colab, simply go to the Colab website or access it through Google Drive. You can create new notebooks or open existing ones right from your browser. Google Colab provides an interactive environment just like Jupyter Notebook, but with added benefits of cloud storage and computational power. So, what are the key differences between Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab? First, let's talk about setup. Jupyter Notebook requires local installation. You'll need to install Python, Jupyter, and any necessary libraries on your machine. This gives you complete control over your environment but can be cumbersome to set up and manage. Google Colab, on the other hand, runs entirely in the cloud. No installation is needed, you just need a Google account to get started and you can access your notebooks from anywhere with an internet connection. Another key difference is file access. Jupyter Notebook has direct access to your local file system, which makes it easier to work with local data files. You can also install any Python libraries you need. With Google Colab, you can easily integrate with Google Drive, making it simple to save and share your notebooks. Colab also supports many popular Python libraries out of the box, and you can install additional libraries using pip commands, one of the biggest advantages of Google Colab is its access to powerful GPUs and TPUs for free. This is particularly useful for machine learning tasks that require heavy computation. Jupyter Notebook, however, benefits from a rich ecosystem of extensions and plugins that enhance its functionality, such as Jupyter Lab, which provides a more flexible and powerful interface for working with notebooks and other data files. So, which one should you use? It really depends on your needs and preferences. If you prefer working locally and need complete control over your environment, Jupyter Notebook is a great choice. It's perfect for tasks like data analysis, visualization, and creating interactive reports. If you want to take advantage of cloud computing, need access to powerful GPUs or TPUs, or want an easy way to share and collaborate on your notebooks, Google Colab is the way to go. It's ideal for machine learning projects, collaborative work, and when you need to access your notebooks from multiple devices. In summary, both Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab are fantastic tools for data science and machine learning. Your choice will depend on your specific needs and workflow. Why not try both and see which one works best for you? To get started, visit Jupyter Notebook at jupyter.org and Google Colab at colab.research.google.com. Thanks for joining us on this tech journey. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more exciting content, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. See you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Join us for engaging topics, clear and concise explainers, and tutorials that will help you navigate the complexities of AI responsibly. Whether you're a user of AI tool, a project manager, AI model developer, a business leader, social media content developer, a policymaker, or just someone curious about the impact of AI. Responsible AI YouTube channel has something for you. We'll break down complex topics into easy to understand content, ensuring you stay informed and ahead of the curve. 
We also believe in the power of community. Your questions, comments, and feedback are what make this journey exciting. So, don't hesitate to join the conversation and share your thoughts with us. Are you ready? To embark on this journey towards a more ethical and responsible AI future, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Together, let's shape the future of AI responsibly.